welcome to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. And welcome back to another episode of Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Okay, well, if you've been watching this channel, uh, you'll know by now uh, that uh, we're obsessed with the Minis Forum MS-A2 in our home lab at Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Um, if you haven't watched this channel before, then welcome. My name's Andrew Hancock at Hancock's VMware Half Hour. And we talk about VMware things and stuff around VMware. So anyway, sit back and watch because in tonight's video we're going to have a little look at installing the vmware vSphere hypervisor or esxi8 for short on our minis forum ms a2 and i know some of you have wanted it because i know that some people basically had a look at the doom videos and they turned around and said yes that's all very cool but does it run vmware vSphere so without further ado um, let's have a little uh, switch to our minis forum ms a2 and what i'm going to do i'm just going to hit control alt delete um, so that you can actually basically see this thing boot up um, and uh, no smoke and mirrors here at hancock's vmware half hour we are using a genuine um, ms a2 from minis forum uh, we're using the amd uh, 9 Ryzen version of the beast so it's a little bit more expensive than the AMD uh, Ryzen 7 version and I think that if you watch all the videos out there and there are plenty of them uh, I think that they will probably sort of come to man and say that uh, price for performance um, 7 probably works out the AMD Ryzen 7 probably works out um, a, a better performance per dollar buck um, but if you want to go all in, um, then just get the AMD 9 version. Okay, so here we are. We're booted um, um, at our Minis Forum MS-A2. So I'm just going to have a little look at the BBS menu. Um, if I actually basically used the right mouse, um, I could just use the keyboard. Okay, so there's our Ventoy. So I'm just going to boot Ventoy and uh, I've got all the ISOs on here that we're going to play with with our Minis 4 and MS-A2. So we've got 9 there, 9.00. I think there's the beta there and then there's one of the latest versions as well. Uh, so that's the ESXi 9 or VCF 9 as we're going to hear it uh, referred to a lot now. But in this video, we're going to have a little at, at installing ESXi 8. Uh, or VMware vSphere Hypervisor 8.0 U3G for golf or Gorilla. So there we go. Let's just boot this and get this booting. Um, and uh, then we'll basically do it a quick install. Uh, now, if you watched the last video uh, that I did, which was um, trying to explain uh, NVMe namespaces, then you will know that uh, this device, this... Um, MS-A2, which is an AMD Ryzen 9 9955HX 16 core processor with 125.7 gig of RAM. A um, couple of gig of that, of course, has been stolen by the AMD uh, graphics chip. So that's where that's disappeared to. This does have two 64 gig um, DDR5 SODIMs installed. Uh, so a couple of gig of that has been... Uh, grabbed by the integrated uh, graphics card uh, if we had a um a graphics card uh, plugged into the pci slot um then that two gig wouldn't be missing but as it stands um that integrated graphics card is going to grab two gig of that um so we're just going to wait for this to uh, to boot um anyway as i was saying i almost forgot um if you watched the last video then we were talking about this fella um this boy or girl or it um which of course was the samsung pm 9a3 um to give it its short name um the u2 um nvme ssd which in our last video where we looked at nvme namespaces um i chopped it up into three different devices I created an 800 
gig device, a one terabyte device, and a two terabyte device. And the reason I did this um, is for later videos of VCF, where we're going to use the first device, the 800 gigabyte device, is where we're actually going to install ESXi. Uh, on the one terabyte device is what we're going to use for memory tiering. And now I've got a enterprise SSD device that's got lots of endurance, lots of wear, five year warranty, because um, I previously did a video on NVMe tiering and um, somebody got a little bit upset that I was actually basically using um, consumer based um, NVMe sticks. This is a home lab. This isn't production. Um, I'm not going to take the uh, Minis Forum MS-A2 into the data center and put production workloads on it for Disney or Samsung or Netflix or something like that. Um, so anyway, got an endurance NVMe this time. And then finally, the two terabyte uh, device we've created is going to be used for vSAN. So that's why we chopped it up into chunks. And this is their first time um, that we're going to give get the opportunity uh, to demonstrate that, I hope, he says. Okay, so if you've done an ESXi installation in the last 10 years, um, these all really look the same. The wording's probably changed a little bit here and there, and obviously it now says VMware ESXi 8.03 installation. Uh, so anyway, so I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to accept the EULA. Uh, and I'm going to put F11 to accept to continue. It's going to go off and scan for available devices. Now I'm hoping now it's where it's going to see those three devices that I created. And luckily for me, it does. So you can see here, um, we've got our NVMe Samsung device. It's a single device, but I've created three namespaces on it. So it appears as three separate devices for our installation now you can see the first device here this is our uh, this is the p310 which of course remember of course is installed in our old wi-fi bluetooth slot um of course that there is an nvme device which is connected via usb and of course these three devices here now with the rounding of course i'm not getting 800 gig uh with the format so that's 745 that's 931 and that's 1.82. But for here in the lab, um, this is where we're going to install our operating system on the first device. This is going to be used for NVMe tiering and this is going to be used for vSAN. So I'm just going to hit enter on there. Of course, I'm going to specify my keyboard. I'm going to type in my password and remember it. Um, okay, warning, this disk will be repartitioned. Yep, that's fine. I've got a problem with that. There shouldn't be on it anything on it in, at the moment anyway. So I'm going to hit F11 and it's going to go off. And there we go. Um, wow, you know, this is the first time that I've actually installed ESXi on this server. Um, and that was fast. That was really, really fast. So I'm going to hit uh, enter. Um, and this is going to shut down and reboot. Now it's interesting because I don't think that I changed the BIOS settings to not do secure boot. Um, so it'd be interesting to see what actually happens here. I might need to disappear into the BIOS and just change that because I don't think, um, Oh, there we go. Um, is I'm going to just wondering whether or not that that must be actually booting from uh, the U2. And it's not booting. It would have booted Ventoy. Um, so that setting doesn't make any difference. Um, so here we go. First time uh, booting uh, ESXi 8.03 uh, UG Gorilla version. Um, on our MS A2. Um, so once that's booted, um, I will fire up a browser uh, over here. There we go. So that's got the IP address 
I need to go and get another keyboard for that. Just one moment. Just let me press pause. Okay, so let me just drop off that screen. And there you go. Uh, you can now, uh, yeah, we'll join the community program. Why not? Um, okay, just get rid of that there. Okay, so we are logged in um, now. The TPM device um, is definitely not compatible. Um, I know that uh, for sure. Uh, so we can big X out of that. Um, so there you go. Uh, manufacturer microcomputer HK Tech Limited MS A2 16 CPUs times AMD Ryzen 9 995X 16 core processor, 125 gig of RAM. And, um, and we're ready to go. Um, we're ready to create virtual machines. Um, so create a virtual machine. So let's have a little look at, at uh, storage. So it's created on the free space remaining um, on that initial 800 gig device. Uh, it's actually basically created a, a data store. If we have a little look at other devices here, uh, then we can see uh, this is the one that we're installed on. Uh, that's the other one. That's the P310. That's the crucial one. And then these are the other two devices as well. So this one here we're going to use um, for local NVMe tiering. And this one here we're going to use for, for vSAN later. And they're all appearing here as well. Um, so I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll just quickly put this on pause um, and I'll just quickly spin up a virtual machine just to prove that a virtual machine does actually run on it. Just thought that I'd pop back just to show that I am actually installing Windows Server 2025 on our MS-A2 as a virtual machine this time. Um, just in case anybody out there thought that there was some smoke and mirrors and I was going to be doing some strange V motion off my NAS or in the labs here somewhere, um, it is actually officially being installed. Anyway, so I'll bob off, I'll uh, get a drink of orange squash and I'll, uh, I'll come back when this is done and I'll show you. The other little goodies that I wanted to show you as well, which I've, so I've just been fettling in the background and I have covered this before. Um, in one of my previous videos so i'll drop that video link in the description and you can have a little look at it there we go 628.4 gigabytes of memory so a little bit more than 128 gig um, which to be honest really um has always really been my bugbear with the ms a2 and 128 gig it's just not enough for me but anyway so if we enable memory tiering then um we get 628 gig. So again, um, going back to the N NVMe namespaces that I was talking about before, uh, you can you have to dedicate a device um, for NVMe tiering. It can't have anything else on the device or disk. Uh, so no other partitions or anything. You've got to dedicate a complete device, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to hard partition although partition is not really the word because they are nvme devices dedicated namespaces anyway so let's just go back and uh, let's just log in um you know the installation of um you know windows 2025 is is rapid um i would even go to say that it's faster than some of the production data centers that um i work on um, I'm beginning to wonder now um, what the performance of some of the clusters that I work on, what's gone wrong with them? Um, because, you know, the, the this installed with lightning speed uh, and it boots lightning quick as well. Um, so, you know, these MSA2s, um, they are good. They are really, really good. You know, um, I am sold. Um, more so i might even get a couple more um okay so there we go uh i hope um that i've answered that question uh that was raised the other day uh when somebody actually basically turned around and said cool cool and was referring to the doom legacy and doom the dark ages videos that i did that you can find on the tube um and he did ask the question can it run vmware vsphere 
Well, yes, it can. Um, as demonstrated here, um, 8.0 update 3, which is the uh, G Golf uh, build 24859861. Sorry about that. The writing is so small on this big screen. It's even difficult for me to read when I haven't got my glasses unless I stare at the screen. Anyway, so there you go. ESXi 8.03G installed on MS-A2 uh, on a U2 uh, NVMe Samsung PMA3. Uh, it's not a fake one. It is a real one. Um, chunked up, divided up into three namespaces, as you would have seen in the last video, and the reason we did that. Um, installed with the SXI 8.03, enabled with memory tiering, um, that gives us uh, 628.41 gigs. Um, easily a single um, MS-A2 um, is going to give you an awful lot of fun in your home lab on a single machine to do lots of nested VMware vSphere work or Promox or um, Red Hat, OpenShift, um, or Oracle, Linux Virtualization Manager, XCP-NG, or whatever. You know, I think somebody said the other day that uh, ESXi is dead as a home lab. I don't think so. I think there are a lot of people out there that still can get an awful lot of benefit out of uh, VMware vSphere um, ESXi hypervisor. And that's 8.03e, which, of course, is available for download for free from Broadcom. Anyway, um, if you've liked this video, then give it a thumbs up or give it a double thumbs up. Um, if you've not liked it, then don't like it and give me a thumbs down and tell me why you don't like it. Um, probably because it's VMware vSphere and you don't like VMware vSphere because, of course, VMware, v VMware vSphere, of course, is dead. Um, if um, you want to see more videos by me, Andrew Hancock, at Hancock's VMware Half Hour, then drop them in the description. Don't forget to um, like, subscribe and share. And I'll be back in another video at Hancock's VMware Half Hour. The next one we do after this will be straight in um, we're just going to basically hit the big format button now. Uh, I can do that quite easily uh, using the NVMe namespaces. We'll get that tote. We'll get that sorted. And uh, in the next video, we're going to do ESXi 9. Anyway, so if you can't, uh, can't wait to that one, then watch the next one. Anyway, good night. Bye-bye.